To find out why, we have to learn about waves. I'm Dr. Jeff Vinegar, and today we're going to explore the science of wave properties. <laughs> This is a wave tank. Hit it! Looks like the waves are just moving from one side of the tank to the other. Interesting observation, Izzy. What do you guys think would happen if I take this ball and put it into the wave tank? I think that it'll move with the wave from one side of the tank to the other. I think it'll just bob up and down. Let's find out. Nailed it. It's moving up and down, but not in the direction that the wave is moving. Exactly. Matter doesn't move through waves, only energy does. We can understand more about waves by adjusting the settings on our wave generator. It looks like the adjustment is making the waves get closer together. Right. The distance between wave peaks is called wavelength. The shorter the wavelength, the more energy a wave has. What if I change the knob label's amplitude? What do you notice? That adjustment made the wave smaller. Right. Amplitude is how tall or short a wave is. Can you measure amplitude and wavelength? Yep. Scientists do it all the time. The amplitude is the distance from the wave's peak to its resting point, which is the level of calm water. The wavelength is the distance from peak to peak. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades 3 to 5, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.